Welcome to Joa Academy where learning becomes much much easier. So today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find the limit of a function. So we have various ways of finding the limit of a function, various methods we use. In this video we're going to be learning about two methods which is the method by substitution and by factorization. <music> Let's get started. We have a question. Lim x tends to 2. x raised power of 3 plus 2 over x plus 1. So we have this function and we are asked to find the limit of this function. What it means is that anywhere we see x, we should substitute it with the value of 2. So that's what we're going to do straight ahead. And we'll have x cubed, so it means we'll have 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 2 over, we have x plus 1, it means we'll have 2 plus 1. So 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8, so we have plus 2 over 2 plus 1 is 3. So we'll end up having 10 over 3, which is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 3. So any one of them 10 over 3 or 3 number 1 over 3 so this is our answer where after we found the limit x tends to 2 of the function there are various functions whereby method by substitution is not going to work so we can apply another method which is called the method by factorization let's solve a question that, that uses that we have lim as x lim as x tends to 2 function x square plus 4x minus 12 over x minus 2 now when we look at this question closely what we'll find out is that if we substitute 2 in our denominator we'll have 2 minus 2 it's going to give us a denominator which is over 0 and this is undefined so what we are going to do is that we are going to factorize the numerator and one of the factors of this numerator should be equal to the denominator so they will cancel out and when they cancel out we can easily find the limit of the function so write limit as x tends to 2 when we factorize x squared plus 4x minus 12 it's going to give us x minus 2 in bracket and x plus 6 in bracket so we have over x minus 2. I don't know how we got x minus 2 in bracket and x plus 6 in bracket. I've done a video on that. The link is in the description box below. Make sure you watch the video to understand factorization. So now we have factorized the numerator. We have x minus 2 and x minus 2. It means it can cancel out. So we have two of them cancel out. And then we'll be left with limit as x tends to 2 x plus 6 so we have x plus 6 what we're going to do next is and we'll see x will substitute with 2 so we have 2 plus 6 which is equal to 8 and this is how we get the limit of the function don't forget we usually do a random shout out to our most active followers so make sure you comment Make sure you like and make sure you share these videos. A lot of your friends need to watch this video. Thanks for watching.